We have reached the end, ladies and gentlemen, the last episode of The Acolyte from Disney Star Wars. I am so glad that it is over with after this episode, and we will be checking it out together. However, that being said, I did enjoy this. I did enjoy trying to make the content funny, enjoyable for you. And I enjoy your comments and your interactions with my videos, with my reviews of this absolutely dreadful show. So I think we should definitely, definitely find something to review next. If you have any ideas of what you want me to review, definitely let me know down in the comments below and I will check it out. Just a little reminder of what happened last week where Osha, the good twin, put on the helmet and started breathing like Darth Vader because... That's normal if you wear a helmet. Ezra Miller is having troubles reaching out to Osha now that she has embraced the dark side. Or something. That's what it looks like. So supposedly she saw the future and where May holds a lightsaber and kills Sol. However, she doesn't use the lightsaber. More bad CGI ship designs. We are still talking about the virgins. Not only that, now they are meeting the Jedi on that planet, now that both Osha and Mei live. Imagine securing someone and not checking if they have any tools on them that they could, you know, possibly get free from the restraints. Who thought this looked good? So Osha runs to the escape pod or escape ship, when all she could have done is just gone to the cockpit and flown off with just the cockpit part it's like what the what what kind of a ship is this why would you need a separate escape ship if you have one in the freaking main ship makes no freaking sense to me but what do i know So I guess this is kind of the chocolate, I guess. And it, it doesn't look horrible other than the ship designs themselves, but actually, I take that back. It, no, it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. It looks horrible. It, I'm just lowering my standards so freaking much for this show. I'm sure you could tell that I did not like saying that I kind of like that. It's the best of shit. It's not even chocolate. I mistook it for chocolate. <laughs> this the sniffer it, the weird badger thing that is a tracker. Sabotaged soul ship. Getting it into a spin, knocking May's ship, who's now also in a spin, and... Uh, what? Why would you sabotage the freaking ship that you are on? Green Beans is back on Coruscant. Wow, that was fast. That was really, really fast. So, the senator here makes a joke about... Hearing that Green Beans traveled through hyperspace and asks her how her stomach is. How concerning. I think the Jedi are a massive system of unchecked power posing as a religion. 
Wow, the messaging in this episode. Wow. Not just evil, evil, evil Jedi. No, this is taking stabs. Real life religion. So he keeps wanting to train her and she keeps saying no. However, her connection with the dark side would suggest otherwise. I, I'm almost betting we will get something else. Another bad CGI ship. I'll be perfectly honest. I don't know if you can see this. It's almost too dark for me wearing the sunglasses. So this is uh, Plagueis. Darth Plagueis. Yes, they went there. They're taking a beloved character out of Legends and inserting him into this. Mm. Great. Awesome. Good job, Disney Star Wars. The soul made it down to the planet Brandok, or whatever it's called. You know, where the lesbian space witches had their coven before it burnt down and everyone died. Oh, God. I just... I wish this show was already over with. I just... Ugh. I just really wish it was over with. Oh crap, I'm still recording? Hey look, Green Beans was just told that Master Soul turned on his beacon and she asked where he was back on Brendock. That means she's going back to hyperspace. Better watch out for that stomach. Wow, the CGI on this ship really is horrible. Ugh, lightsaber battle between Soul and Ezra Miller. More Matrix, or perhaps, maybe, Crouching Tiger? Maybe this is the piece of chocolate in the entire episode, where you can take, like, the, the bottom part of your lightsaber hilt off, and you have, like, a little short dagger lightsaber type of thing. More slow-mo kicking. Right. The main Osha are talking in their old room. And May is telling Osha that Soul lied to her. And then you get a typical leftist scream when Osha attacks with full hatred against um, May. That's the Jedi way. <laughs> What is even this music? Holy cow! Hold on, is that... Is that the Jedi in the background? Is that green beans? How in the hell did they get there that freaking fast? Holy! How? Mm. I'm not gonna do the meme. <laughs> That's all you get. Jesus! So Soul just... Stands there holding his lightsaber out, could kill the Sith after their fight, but just stands there waiting for May to come in and stop him. They just straight up stole from the throne room scene. Ezra Miller being the Emperor, Soul being Darth Vader, and May here being Luke Skywalker. What in the hell is this? What am I watching here? She wants him to confess his crimes to the High Council, to the Senate, to pay for the horrible things he has done, his sins. I want you to remember, we already established, Soul did nothing, absolutely nothing wrong other than being a creep in the last episode. I mean, he should probably confess being a creep. Should probably not be anywhere near any youngling. I'm half joking with this, but honestly, he did nothing wrong when it came to killing their mother. She was turning into some kind of a, a thread ghost because you can't say force ghost because force is wrong. It's a thread. 
and it seemed like she was enveloping or turning May into this smoke. So he did what he had to do to make that stop. While May is forcing Soul to confess, Ezra Miller the Sith is just sitting back there just watching. Sure. Osha is choking Soul without lifting her hand like Vader and doing this. Wow, she really is the bestest, isn't she? And her twin, of course. Now when he's on the brink of death, that is when she lifts her fingers? I really miss when we had things like Metachlorians. That was a fun time, wasn't it? When everyone was talking about how oh, we have Metachlorians now. Now we actually have bleeding of crystals turning the crystal freaking red. That's fun. I just want to remind everyone again that Soul did nothing wrong and Osha is killing him. Right here, right now. The Jedi aren't evil, they're just stupid. Osha is evil. May is evil. The Sith is freaking evil. So, I guess the crystal is fighting between being good and evil? That's some kind of messed up magic shit that has never happened. They don't just change freaking color. We are barely just halfway through this. And Green Beans here has a connection with the Sith. Probably being her pupil. Yeah, Green Beans and the other Jedi found soul. A touching moment. Osha didn't believe May. He's sorry about it, and May is sorry about starting the fire. Let my sister go, and I will train with you. What in the hell is this? He's going to attempt to erase May's memory of Osha and him. May wants this. May wants Osha to become evil and train under the Sith that May was scared of. Stealing this whole idea from Revan, let's give her a blank slate. She was evil, now she's going to be good. And with the Jedi. Convenient how all she remembers is a guy, a Jedi, killing her mother and then running away. That man who killed your mother was a Jedi. He was my friend. He was a kind, brilliant, compassionate man. <laughs> and he did a terrible thing. Of course, yeah. Except for that he did nothing wrong. Years ago. Yeah, this was the work of one flawed man. All of it. Everything. Sure. So now Soul wasn't killed. He, he ended his own life. Justified every selfish step with the love that he had for her sister. What? So she's going to make this right somehow by having May help her find a pupil of hers. Oh my god, this is going to get a season two. This show is going to get a season two. From from the way they set it up, it should be getting a season two. Holy cow. This one's for the Raylos. Wow. Well, this looks like it's over with. Please. Please, please. Of course, they had um, one more scene here. Green Beans goes to talk to Master Yoda, who knows about the Sith and everything right here, right now, a hundred years before Qui-Gon was killed by the Sith. 
who suddenly returned. Well, this was the end of The Acolyte. Disney Star Wars The Acolyte. Episode 8, the finale. They set it up to get a second season. I really hope that they learned their lesson that they made so little money and have such horrible views on this show that they just do not make a season two. And I, I'm not usually one like that. I don't want to be spiteful. But towards the, this episode, this was by far the worst episode ever. I would have taken another flashback in the entire episode, like last week, over this garbage. Wow. I don't even have the words to express how I'm feeling right now about this. I am a Star Wars fan. I love the original trilogy. I love the prequels. Heck, I'll even I'll even go as far and say that I really enjoyed watching Andor. I really enjoyed watching season one and season two of The Mandalorian. I will go and say that I enjoyed and absolutely loved watching The Clone Wars animated series. A few weeks back, I did a review over on Adam's channel for, you know, we, we talked about episode one and episode two of the original Star Wars franchise, you know, Phantom Menace and Attack of Clones. I also watched the third episode, Revenge of the Sith. I enjoyed them. I have not watched A New Hope. Because of all the crap going on? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll come out and say it. Thank you, Mark Hamill. Because you're such a wackadoo. Completely bonkers. I find it hard to watch a movie that I absolutely loved. This is a part of my childhood. And I can't get myself to sit down and watch it. And with this crap that Disney is putting out? Holy fuck! Pardon my French. I, I really try on this channel not to curse. It comes out sometimes. It happens. But this was just... What? You want good Star Wars? Go watch the original trilogy. Go watch the prequel trilogy. Don't watch anything else. Nothing else. Please don't watch it. Because if you do, you will find it hard to go back to those good movies. And yeah, they have their issues, but they are good movies. This here? I'm appalled. They are rewriting Star Wars, people. Rewriting the original Star Wars, what it meant, the Force, everything. The Chosen One. What, why do you even need a Chosen One? You have the Chosen Two. You're, you're stealing from good stories and putting it in your... A horrible show. I am so done with Star Wars. And look, I, I've said, look, I've said I've, I'm done with Star Wars before this. And I have been. If I wasn't reviewing this show for the channel, for you, I would not have watched it. But I watched it. I reviewed it. And at the beginning of this episode, I did say that I'm having fun reviewing these things for you. Trying to make it fun. Trying to, you know, portray my pain. 
I'm not leaning into it at all. Right now. This is really bad. I can't believe that they did this. And if Rotten Tomatoes would still allow the the audience to score this show, I can bet you it would drop be below. It would drop below the 13% that it last got before they disabled that function on the show. All right, I need to calm him down, calming down. Despite the atrocities in this show, the atrocities against Star Wars, the atrocities against pop culture, against writing, against anything and everything, Against the atrocities of me watching it. For the most part, I enjoy making this review video for you. Maybe less this exact one, but the other review videos for the show. I've really enjoyed making these, trying to make them fun for you. So please, you know, I'm... I'm Usually I say, hey, if you like this video, smash that like button. Or if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I'm asking you for going through this. Please like my video. Just just, you know, show me some love over going through this episode. This was hard to go through. But whatever you do, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Uh, definitely, like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments if there is another show that you would like me to review coming out soon, already out. Maybe I'll go even back, you know, watch a show that is older. It's up to you. Just let me know in the comments and, you know, I might do a poll or something like that. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And look, no matter how bad this episode got, no matter how worked up I got over the shit that I just watched. Don't feel bad for me. Unless feeling bad for me results in you giving me a like and commenting down below. <laughs> don't show me any pity. Please don't. Um, no, honestly, I, I like doing this for you. So, yeah, while the episode itself really hurt to watch, it isn't hurting me to go make this video and put it out for you. Just remember that. So thank you for stopping by. You know, again, smash the like button. Consider subscribing. You know, it's it's right here. Subscribe. Uh, you know, and if you do that, uh, you know, hit the bell because. YouTube only seems to realize that you want notifications if you, you know, make sure that bell is turned on. Anyway, thank you for stopping by, and until next time, take care.